When we designed Second Shooter, we wanted it to be as versatile as possible. We have a lot of different styles of shooting being used with our products, like weddings, time lapse, visual effects. So we went to the drawing board to figure out how we can do this most effectively. So we stripped the core technology and key features out of CineDrive and put them in a super small, super intuitive, easy to use package that can be used as a one axis system that for guys using parallax and all they want to do is do looping or maybe simple time lapses all the way up to adding the pan or pan and tilt to your system so that way you can do more complex three axis time lapses or visual effects work. We really put in a lot of time trying to focus on just the little details too in this system that customers were needing. You know, one of the things that you know, we found a lot of people struggling with was dealing with lots of different motor gear units. Some applications that's required, but we knew for most of the customer base of this product, we could get by with doing one motor with a changeable pulley system that would allow them to essentially have three different motor capabilities, of, you know, really fast, kind of middle of the road that's good for most general shooting, and a high torque motor used for lifting heavy loads. We wanted Second Shooter to be an expandable product platform, so we built in a USB port for future firmware updates and an expansion port that will allow you to connect different external peripheral controllers like a joystick and also connect to our Chaos software. Once we have a product prototype in-house that we're really happy with, the next thing we do is send it out to our Kessler Shooter team, uh, different members that exist in different sectors of the filmmaking community. So we have time-lapse shooters, we have wedding cinematographers, we have guys working on larger budget films, uh, extreme sports events, high-end visual effects and commercial work. So what we're able to do is figure out this idea or this product that we're prototyping, how it applies to all these different markets. And we actually take our team, both engineers and the creative guys, onto a shoot and not only do we get their feedback where we watch how they use it. That's why we work out little things like on our second shooter, the flashlight, the built-in intervalometer, the way the buttons feel, the fact that we got raised buttons are, you know, a lot of times because guys are having gloves on in cold environments. We want them to be able to feel how to use the product. So all of these little details come from us first using it in-house with our own creative team and then moving it out to the different environments that this product would exist in.